Finishing up the cap replacement on the Philco. Oh, good evening, YouTube. Here on a Saturday at 628. Uh, have the uh, items in front of the camera here. As you can see, I think uh, I got my capacitors from Saul. Sal? <laughs> Sal, Saul. Uh, they came in the mail today. And so that means I'll be able to get the, the Philco, I think, all recapped now. I got these the other day, and I forgot to mention it. Um, these are drill bits like I've got. I've got a set of these... Uh, uh, met or not metric, but the SAE style um, inch inches, whatever you want to call it. These are metric, same basic uh, set, but now this one didn't come in a retail type package, so like the other ones did. Uh, not a big deal, one way or the other, I don't guess. But uh, uh, so got those just in case I need some odd sizes, and those will get put into the drawer here with the rest of my cutting and boring instruments. Um, this, uh, thing here, I think I have decided it is 9 sixteenths. Um, that's, uh, as close as I can measure it with a, uh, tape measure. Uh, I looked at it several different times, different ways, and, and everything. I think it's, uh, pretty sure it's 9 sixteenths. And I, I can get a 9 sixteenths brass tube, uh, from, um, Ace Hardware. But unfortunately, there is no Ace Hardware here in Seymour. Uh, the nearest one is in Scottsburg, which is not that far away. I don't mind driving down there and picking it up, but even they don't have it in stock. Uh, they'd have to order it, so I don't know whether I'm going to get that or not. You would think that uh, Home Depot might have something like that, but they don't. Closest I can get at Home Depot is the half-inch dowel rod, which again, that you know, is not that bad a deal. It probably would work as well. Uh, just wouldn't be as tight on there, obviously, but uh, would work, I think. So, anywho, that's uh, that's that. Now, let's see if we can get this up a little bit like that. There we go. Uh, I still need a little bit more room on that. Uh, I've got a, a washer in there, but uh, it needs a little bit more. It's right pretty close to that. Uh, that thumbnail is just right. Her thumb wheel is real close to that wood, and sometimes it's hard to get it good and tight, but. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing here, I think, is uh, trying to replace a couple more of these uh, uh, capacitors. I still don't have the uh, headphones done. I'd like to get that done tonight, but whether I do or not, I don't know. You just never know how things go. Um, this one here is going to be, oh, I won't say a pain, but it... Uh, it's in there pretty good as far as uh, being under stuff, and uh, I think that's the end of it there. That where the red, red wire is that I can move the red wire out of the way, obviously. And I think I can see the end of it right there. I think it connects right there. It looks like pretty darn sure. And if it is, then it won't be too hard to connect the new one in. I don't have to connect it right back to that piece. But on the other end, then I don't know. Let's see how good you can see in there. It's pretty tight there too. Now this is the uh, .007, which is the .0068 that I have. Uh, this one I said was the .004. I have that one also. So I'm going to try to replace both of those and see how that goes. So let me get in there and start. Um, I already got my uh, soldering iron heating up. I'm using the... Um, uh, Sony camera this evening for a change. I uh, actually like the uh, Sony pretty good for close-up work. It's it doesn't maybe do as quite as good as the Canon, but it's it's pretty close. And uh, I think it uh, it just works a little bit better as far as getting in there. You know we can see. And that's just my opinion anyway. Probably need to put that up up on its side like that. There you go. You can see that pretty good. I don't worry about it right now, though. I'm just replacing them right now. Once I get it replaced, I'll bring it back and show you. So, all right, stay tuned. All right, back once again. It's 6.52 now. I have the uh, 
two capacitors I was meaning to, to replace done. This one here, this is the uh, .0068, replaces the .007. Have it soldered here and down here. And that's soldered good. I don't think there's any problem with this. I may have to move it a little bit to get it out of the way from something else, but like that right there. But there wasn't any, uh, of course now when, when the bigger one was in here, it went from point to point and there, there wasn't nothing, no exposed part here. So I should have probably put some spaghetti on that, but I didn't. So it's not a big deal, I don't think. It's in there pretty solid. It's not gonna be moving around. Um, and the other one, down here and see that one. This is the uh, .0039, replaces the .004. And I did use this, reuse the spaghetti on this one. It goes from here to over here, and I got that, as I promised to do, I got that resistor down below it where it really should reside down there and uh, got everything nice and compact in there and shaving up pretty darn good, I think. So I think that's a, uh, that's going to work out really well. So uh, as I have the uh, .22 and the .0015, I'll probably go ahead and replace those over here on the other side as well. Uh, while I'm on a roll, might as well get this done. And, uh, of course, you didn't see what I was just talking about, but I think we've seen it enough. Uh, one of them goes here and here, and the other one goes some here and maybe here. I can't remember exactly. I'll have to get my picture out and make sure I, I get, it in, get, get them in there correctly. And uh, especially that gimmick one. There's the gimmick part right there uh, that's still sticking there. I'll have to remember that. Here, here it is over here. Uh, this is the, uh, I can see the uh, .01 looks like, yep, .01. So that's the one that goes, I've got one of those to go back in there. So we'll put that, I think it goes between here and maybe here. I'm thinking, and the other one goes from here to here, I think is the way it goes. And there's another one that connects down here to this orange wire. So I'll have to figure out that one as well. So that may be one of them as well. I don't know. Uh, like I said, that's why I did that picture because, you know, it's only been a couple days, but I've done forgot all that stuff. So uh, I'll have to get that gimmick part off there and, and reattach it there where it goes uh, before I actually probably solder the uh, uh, cap in. And we'll do that. Don't want to forget that as well. So I think that's probably the next thing we'll do. And... We'll bring you back, but like I say, I'm very happy with the way the other two uh, was replaced and how they how they're laying in there and all that stuff. So really happy about it. So now on the uh, resistors, I haven't checked a lot of them, but at the same time, the radio's playing pretty good. Um, seems to be anyway. So I think what I'm going to do is probably not even mess with it. Now here's that other. I don't know if you can see that down here or not. There it is. There's that other end of that uh, one that's got to go around, around here somewhere. It goes between here and there or something. Like I say, I'll get my picture and uh, get that all set up, ready to go, and then we'll come back and do these other ones. So stay tuned again. Alright, well I am back now. It is 8.09. Um, point out what I did. I already showed you the ones over here, I think. So let's start with this top one here. This is a .05. Uh, I used one of these uh, orange drop, whatever you want to call them. I just, I like the way, because it, it came over straight, and I just thought that'd be an easier one to use over there. Plus, I had a bunch of them. I haven't, you know, run low on the yellow ones, so I thought I'd use that. Uh, I'd already replaced that one before. I don't know if I told you about it, but I had. Um, this one here is the uh, .05, I believe goes to, I thought it went to that orange wire, but actually it didn't. It goes to another p uh, tube pin down there because the uh, stub was left with the uh, insulation around it. And I didn't, it didn't, up, didn't end up using the insulation again because I got it short enough to where it goes right up against it. This one doesn't matter. There's nothing near it. And it goes to uh, basically the, uh, not the uh, ground. This is the ground over here. I'll keep those separate a little bit. Uh, circuit ground is here where the black wires are. 
Uh, this one went to right, right next to it, according to my pictures anyway. So that's in there. The uh, bottom one down here I had already replaced. That was one of the first ones I replaced. And then I, when I went to replace the next one, it was at 0.25. And it turns out I didn't have one. So uh, there it is. It's a 0.22. Uh, but it is in there. Uh, that just left the uh, .01 here, which is the uh, one with the gimmick on it. And you can see I have replaced that just like it was. It went from here, the gimmick itself went from here to here, and that's where it still goes. And I have it in about the same spot on the capacitor. Uh, this wire here was underneath that. I tried to route it back like it was before. Uh, they were over the top of the .25 and so I've got them back over the top and I think that should about do it uh, I don't think there's any more that uh, need replacing oh yeah I, I'm, I'm sorry the one off on top I've got to redo that one so I'll do that one and be done so once I get it done we'll take another listen to it and see how she listen, or listens <laughs> see how she sounds and uh, go from there so I'll try to do that one real quick and come right back all right, before I do this one, I want to show you, <laughs> just so we'll know, we're clear, this is the dial string, and this is the, this is the other connection. Now, you know me and my uh, uh, experience or my history with dial strings close to places we solder. Uh, it's not been good, so I'm going to take as much care as I can to get that one out and uh, the new one in without burning that in two. So let's see how how well I do. Alright, well I was able to get this in here without burning this wire up. That was pretty good. And of course I connected the other end up here and that's in there good and tight. Good and solid. And that should do all of the caps I do believe. Um, I think that's all of them. I don't know of any other ones. Uh, like I said if I, I missed one, I guess I can get it later. But uh, I think that's all the ones that were going to be replaced. Double check on the bottom here again. And you can see there I have all of those done. Where's my little stick at? I uh, have all those done. have all these done. This, 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 there's one up there, that's the uh, one for the volume control. And all these over here, done. And that's pretty much it. So I think we're ready to tune up another station and see what happens. Uh, this time of the night should be some skip rolling in if there is any. And we'll see what happens, so stand by for that. All right, you can see uh, we are up to 49 volts now on the uh, Variac. I'm running about uh, 0.02 amps. Crank her up a little bit more and see what happens. Everything is connected. Speaker, antenna, of course the power plug. It's up to about 75. No uh, appreciative voltage showing yet. As I, recall, oh, there was, as I recall last time, it didn't start going up until we got up into the operable range, which is about 90 volts, I believe. It's coming up a little bit, though. So I, my heater's running underneath the desk, so it may, may make a difference on certain aspects. Take up a little bit more. Around 90 volts. Not hearing much out of the speaker. Turn it off and nut back on again, see if that has anything to do with it. I don't know if that, I cleaned that switch, but I don't know if I did a very good job of it. Oh, I hear some humming now. Now that the heaters went off. Of 
Got some noise. There's a station there, but that's all the way up on the volume. Guess I could go up with the voltage a little bit, might help. holding it there now. That's picking up something it shouldn't. That's not a good spot for it. Oh, a lot of noises in here. Alright, well that does me. I, I think that's a good enough test. It does, it does pick up better on that antenna though, I know that. So, Alright, we're going to shut this down. And unplug it. And that call that a night. But anyway, I'm happy with the... Uh, the replacement of the uh, caps and I think the next uh, deal on this is to install that uh, resistor on that filament string get that to where it's safe to plug into the wall and uh, go from there now sometimes there is a little bit of an interference on the uh, variac I've noticed that also so it may work better on the wall outlet I don't know but in fact it uh, it does at least work so I guess I could do that. Well, no, I'm going to do that until I put that resistor in. So, All right. You guys have a pleasant, pleasant evening. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you.